As the lease continued to flow, we have the custom game browser roadmap 2.0 on the way and a bunch of new weapons coming to Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Me director sketch hit up Twitter to ask people how their thoughts are when it comes to leaks saying curious what your preferred means of getting in news and information. Unofficial reveals are always faster but not always accurate. Leaks can be sometimes really sucky for people who are doing work on the inside. While our game leaks different than say TV movie and book spoilers. They're definitely not like spoilers in that case when it comes to leaks for multiplayer in my point of view. But you can see right here a lot of people are like just give me the leaks because I want to know what's going on. A lot of people want to wait for official reveals which I'm kind of more leaning towards that route. Uh, just because I just want to know like once I see something I want to know that it's coming to the game essentially. Especially with leaks a lot of things can be taken out of context. For example like we have the saw that's like in the game files right now in Halo Infinite. Obviously I don't expect to see the saw come into the game anytime soon as this is is like the Halo 5 model, but it's in Halo Infinite for whatever reason. Probably more for play testing and back end kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't expect to see this happening, but this is like the leaks I'm talking about where like we need context to see like, is this gonna come to the game? But this is what I was talking about, Roadmap 2.0 right here. And then replied to our good friend, Patman Gaming to the channel here, talking about like when we're gonna get some news. Sketch also said that we're about to emerge from this cocoon, putting together an update for next week to go over what to expect over the next several months. Once we're fully into regular seasonal sets slash development cadence, we'll have more to regularly show and tell, which gets me hoped and hyped up because one, this sounds like Roadmap 2.0. And basically, like we the roadmap that we had back in, I believe it was in April when it was revealed, was a little lackluster, a little sad, I mean, honestly. But it seems like with him also mentioning about regular cadence coming around, that we could see that next season, season three, could be another three season month. With him bringing up the cadence and regular development stuff within that tweet, makes me kind of give some hope that for some reason that like I feel like season three might be only three months instead of six months. I'm still holding strong that it'll be six months for season three uh, until 343 says otherwise. But essentially Roadmap 2.0 coming next week guys and I'll make sure to share with you guys on this channel. Now a very interesting thing just happened to this leak guys. This is the leak of the custom game browser that was showcased being play tested at least somewhat in Halo Infinite within the game files. I went to go check out the tweet today and well it's been removed, but luckily Reddit saved the images. And so we can check out what's gonna be on here. So we have the, under the community tab, we have the customs, browser theater, my bookmarks and files with recommended most popular maps, most popular modes and pro popular prefabs. And also when you click into the custom game browser section, it says no custom games found. You can host your own game or join a match made game. So this will be amazing if this comes along with Forge. My expectation though, is that it won't be there with the open beta of Halo Infinite's Forge. Uh, it did sound like it was quite a ways away when it comes to actually being developed, but this seems like since we're already starting to see some form of development when it comes to the custom game browser, that it definitely should be coming around in 2023. Hopefully they learned their lessons or learned some things from the MTC custom game browser to bring it over to Halo Infinite. A custom game browser will be absolutely crucial for Halo Infinite's Forge mode and custom game modes as well, but though it would need some backhaul updating when it comes to especially the custom games and how they function. Function. Often players will get kicked out, settings aren't saved. This has happened to me multiple times as part of the couple of tournaments that we've thrown together when it comes to Halo Infinite. Sometimes just weird things happen with custom games. Hopefully we get like a nice little drop pod update that focuses on that custom game. So then once Forge comes actually into the game for the open beta process, people can actually play custom games and actually have a fun time doing it. We also have a leak of new equipment. The Gravity Burst is one of these items right here where basically you throw it at something, it will fling them up in the air. That's a pretty awesome bit of equipment. That's something I was actually thinking about previously. Like, if they're going to add any new equipment, what could they add in? Again, it's a super early prototype stuff. I would doubt we would even see it within season three. As you can see, it's so rudimentary, but this would be a really fun kind of uh, bit of equipment to kind of throw into Halo Infinite as well. And then we also have the stasis field, which this one would concern me. Uh, we've had this previously that's like in games like Destiny 2 had stasis and multiplayer and I believe they actually had to remove it because people hated it so much. But it's quite interesting, kind of has a void tear kind of effect if you guys remember from Warzone from Halo 5. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. 
I don't know if this would be something that people would actually would like to play because once you kind of lose control of the character, it kind of makes it so the equipment does the work for you rather than how it currently is in Halo Infinite where yes, the equipment certainly helps you get kills, but it's not the reason why you get the kill. But of course, once we get some information on what's going to make it into Season 3 and the future of Halo Infinite, I'll share it with the guys here on the channel. Next, we have some more leaked good information here, guys. This is the Lacerator that's currently within Halo Infinite. We've seen this weapon previously on a leak, but now it looks like it received some form of like rough animations and rough functionality to it this seems to be a bit of like a replacement of the saw but like in a banished form and instead of shooting bullets it shoots the electrical damage kind of similar that we have for like say the disruptor or something like that but in lmg form it does chain to other players as well it looks like it's gonna be having a pretty large clip of 75 or magazine whichever one you want to call it whatever it's a video game whatever you know <laughs> it looks like it'd be a fun new addition to halo infinite and we've seen concept art of this weapon as well so this is definitely something that we'll see in the future if it would be a season three item or down the line we're not quite sure yet now an early prototype looks like is the plasma liquidator right here you can see it's just like a box but it seems like what this testing is just kind of like the functionality of basically like a light or heavy machine gun turret but like as a weapon form that just spams out a ton of plasma shots which this does sound awesome. It looks pretty awesome when it comes to like the functionality of how it will actually shoot. Like you see like over range, not exactly the most accurate thing. So that's one way to balance it out there, but this will be a fun new addition to Halo Infinite. Another item being tested around here is a double barrel shotgun. Now from early look of this, again, test build kind of weapon right here, that it doesn't really seem to be that much more effective or aim that much better really than say the bulldog which has you know five or seven shots i can't remember exactly within its magazine so uh the range doesn't seem that much better it could be like a weird compromise between like a bulldog and the classic shotgun in halo infinite uh but again we'll just have to wait and see i'll keep you guys updated if we get any more information about a double barrel shotgun coming to halo infinite now it also seems like ranks in team doubles are kind of busted right now frosty who played last night guys ranked match in and he placed in the platinum two like this guy's one of the greatest halo players of all time let's be real and he plays platinum two i know that 343 you mentioned that they're looking to do some kind of back end rank testing to kind of mix things up a little bit but that might be a little too much of a mix up unless they're trying to make like the silver and bronze tier a little bit more viable of a rank within halo infinite because right now most people are just kind of placing it into like platinum gold diamonds and on and onyx where silver and bronze are pretty rare to find in the game if the leaks in this video were not enough guys it's been overflowing i have another video right here talking about the beam rifle smg and infected energy sword along with some extraction sounds talking about the spore locations let me know in the comments what you think about it thank you very much for watching greatly appreciate it I'll catch you on the next one peace out